I'm back and welcome to a video where I discuss my favorite pairings or favorite couples. I also am getting into romance lately, but in fantasy in general, which is my preferred genre, I do love a good romantic subplot as well to kind of undercut the emotional tension of the entire story. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the stack of books that I've got with me. The first one being Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chapeco, which was a fantasy that I read last year and it became my best book of 2022. And this one has Remy, Zidane, Malik and Jiagan Song. And those are the romance characters, I suppose you could call it. This does have a polyamorous romance in it, but it's not necessarily the entire focus of the story. But it's a really nice enhancement to the story because it adds so much volume and character to it as well because there's a lot of emotional trust vulnerability and turmoil that goes along with it and I think it's also a very healthily discussed romance too which I really liked but this is a vampire apocalypse kind of story in the sense that Remy is from royalty and his father has a lot of power and his father runs a lot of the hunters or I guess the reapers in a way and they kill vampires like rogue vampires but you've also got vampire courts so not only do you have the humans but you've also got the vampires both of royalty and they're trying to put together this treaty so that there is less bloodshed in the world and while this treaty is being put in place and there are discussions occurring there's also an outbreak of what is called the rot and the rot is infecting people and turning them into vampiric zombies basically and so Jadan, Zidane and Remy such a hard trilogy of names to get right they kind of team up and they go and try and find what caused the rot and how to stop it because they are scientists i need to reread this in 2023 because i just adored it so much then we've got law olympus which is a hades and persephone retelling and this is such a beautifully colored and illustrated story and it has such brilliant humor in there and i felt like it captured the character's whimsy very well but it also had darker scenes in here of sexual assault and so it balanced really heavy discussions in a very mature way and it also had a levity to it with the lightness in tone and the thing I really enjoyed the most about this is that it's a very slow burning romance between Hades and Persephone because they can't really be together because of the societies and pressures around them so far and I really like that that's making them be friends and be open with each other and they're trying to hold off on anything romantic and so it's just very wholesome and it's also got that darker edge, so it's very balanced and I really enjoy it. And I've got three volumes, but volume four comes out this year in June, so I'm really anticipating that. Then I'd like to feature a romance, a sapphic romance that I read in January, which I adored. And Ashley Herring Blake is one of my new favorite authors because Oh my goodness, this was amazing. Delilah Green doesn't care. It follows Delilah, who's a wedding photographer, and she gets called back to her small town where she grew up because her sister Astrid is getting married in this shotgun wedding. And so Delilah has to photograph all of the events and the wedding leading up to the big day. And so because she's doing this, she's around Astrid and Astrid's best friends. And they're kind of girls that she kind of grew up with, but she was very much on the outer or so she felt. And so it discusses a lot of family and growing up and how you perceive yourself and your growth as a person like mentally as well. And I really like the romance between Claire who was one of the maids of honor for Astrid. So it was just very steamy and very character driven. And I really liked the fan family elements in here too. And this is just such a great book and I'm so happy that I finally read it. Then I've got a book that's a little bit unexpected, but I ship these characters. Ship is like relationship. It's when you want characters to get together. So these characters are not necessarily a couple, but they're characters that I really like seeing together. And so we've got Darlington and Alex from Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. These characters are both tortured in their own ways and I really love it when tortured characters find balance in each other because that's what is kind of happening here. And I just love them so, so much. And I really enjoyed my read of the sequel to this as well. So this is just a brilliant urban fantasy series. And if you're not into that darker edge of urban fantasy, then you probably won't like this as much because it's kind of gruesome and brutal, but it does follow Alex who can see ghosts and she goes to Yale on a scholarship because Yale has all of these secret societies attending and they perform rituals for different knowledge and power. And so Alex and Darlington are the two people who are part of the ninth house and they enforce all of the rules of the House of Leith. So they make sure that none of the rituals go awry. But of course, there wouldn't be a story if there wasn't a body and there is a body. So it's a murder mystery almost. And it's also got that undercurrent of magic and darkness to it. And 
That's why I love these characters, because they have to band together to solve murders, basically. Then we've got another book that I just keep banging on about, and I don't tell much of the plot because it's such a long book with so many things happening, but that is Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. And Kieran and two other characters, I think, are going to be in a slow burn throughout the rest of this series. And I can't say their names because I don't want to spoil anything because there's so much going on in here and it's truly a masterpiece to piece it all together yourself. So I will leave that mystery to you when you eventually pick it up, but it is a high fantasy that's got high stakes, demons, magic, so much political intrigue as well. I really enjoyed what was beginning in here and what has been set up in book two and I'm really anticipating my read of book three because I think some of the threads that have been set up for this potential romance might come to a head there. And so clearly I'm a sucker for slow burn romance. If Hades and Persephone in Law Olympus were not enough, Kieran and some other characters in this book are definitely doing it for me as well. So highly recommend, really enjoyed, can't wait to continue. And then finally, some of my favorite queer romance characters of all time, an incredibly wholesome story, Heartstopper by Alice Oseman, which is now a Netflix series. And I feel like everyone knows this anyway, which is kind of why I left it for last because I feel like it's the most familiar of all of these that I've talked about. But Nick and Charlie go to the same school. They're sat together in their new form group and they form a relationship based on sitting next to each other and having to make small talk. And Charlie is already out as gay, but Nick is questioning his sexuality and forming a nice bond with Charlie. So it's about their budding romance and it's just really beautiful. Also, it has queer friendships and found family, which are things that I'm incredibly drawn to. And this was no different. The humor is so cute as well. And the art is beautiful. So I really love going back and rereading these as well. And the fifth and final volume was apparently supposed to come out in February this year, but I haven't seen a cover and I also haven't seen a release date. So I have no idea what's going on. And part of me wants to read it because it'll be the ending. And so I'll know what happens, but it's also bittersweet, right? Because because it's one of my favorite series and I don't want it to end either. So the wait is kind of killing me, but Nick and Charlie and Heartstopper are one of my absolute favorites and I want everyone else to read about them too. So there you have it. These are all of my favorite couples. Let me know what yours are down below. I would love to know, but thank you again so much for watching this video. I'll come chat to you down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.